All right, it's time to get your contract ready so you can start getting clients booked. And I'm going to walk you through it step by step in this video. Like I mentioned in the last video, this template I created for you is plug and play. So you don't need to worry about building your contract from scratch. If you haven't already, log into your account so you can follow along with me. The first thing we'll do is add our logo to the top of the form so our brand is front and center. To do this, click on the image element at the top. Then click Add Files, grab your logo, and click the image to add it into the image element. Depending on how big your logo is, you can adjust the scale of it down here at the bottom. I'll bring my percent down to make it a little smaller. The next thing we're going to do is copy and paste the terms and conditions from our old contract into this Dubsado template. I'll copy the text from my old contract and then click the pencil icon in this text box on the Dubsado template, delete the example text here, then paste in my contract details. To lock it all in, click the checkbox. It's literally that simple. I'll do it one more time just to give you a good example. Now, depending on how long your contract is, you can rinse and repeat this for each clause in the contract. If you need more clauses in your contract, just make a copy of the element using this duplicate button. Personally, I like to put an initials box at the end of each clause to make sure the client is paying attention to what's in each clause, but keeping those in is up to you. Remember in one of the very first videos of this series when I showed you how the contract auto-filled the client and invoice information directly onto the form for me? That was possible because of these things right here. These are called smart fields. When I add this contract to a project, it's going to replace this code with the actual project information. So that means I can use this template in any project I want and it will do the heavy lifting for me. The smart fields that come on this form should work just fine for you, but if you want to experiment with different ones in the future, just click the pencil icon in the text box and you'll see the smart field menu button right here. The invoice category is where you can find other options. Lastly, at the bottom of the contract, we have two signature elements in place for you. One for the client to sign and one for you as the business owner to countersign. If you want to preview how this form will look, you can click the preview button at the top. When you're finished with everything, don't forget to click save. Doesn't it feel amazing knowing that you have your contract ready to go now and that you never have to use that PDF or Word doc again? We have gotten so much done in such a short time and now we just have one piece left to add to get your clients booked and that's the proposal. I created a plug and play template for the proposal as well and you can copy it to your account in the next video. We'll see you over there.